Shannon, the State Department of Transportation has already launched an investigation into why this bridge is still closed three days after the storm and traffic is still being diverted around the Matthews. Now, when Barrow first rolled in, most of you were concerned about bridge closures. The rain, the flooding, all of that water. No one wanted to get stuck on the wrong side of the bridge. But now tonight, completely calm outside and the bridge is still closed. Commuters haven't missed the signs or the wait times trying to get home. Closed for more than 36 hours, frustration with the detour was clear. But as the night went on, First Coast News got more information about why the bridge was closed. Turns out it wasn't barrel that broke it, but possible faulty construction. The Department of Transportation contracted a company to build a platform on the bridge. The platform was designed to protect passing cars from construction. But the company the state bought materials from said the contractor disregarded their warnings about safety and proper installation. That company says the state refused their offer to send an engineer out free of charge to install the platform and instead paid a contractor to do the same work. When the winds kicked up after the storm, parts of that platform were ripped off and left dangling overhead. Now a team of 40 workers is standing by to fix the damage. But the State Department of Transportation says they won't allow construction to continue on the bridge until they sort out what went wrong with that platform. Now, while workers are back up on the bridge tonight working on that platform, it's unlikely that the bridge will be open for rush hour tomorrow. Good morning, Jacksonville. We'll keep you updated as soon as we learn the status of when this bridge is going to open. Reporting live, Caitlin Ross, First Coast News.